putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven center. Ravens fam, let's just get straight to it. So, the defensive tackle squad, the D line. Now, I ain't gonna even speak about the pass rushers, but I'm talking about Derek Wolf. Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell, and Justin Matabuki. Matabuki! I think this year is going to be sweet for all of them, but mainly Justin Matabuki. This dude is going to be special. I remember seeing him in uh, Texas A&M. Remember seeing him Texas A and M. He has it all. He has it all. And the thing that trips me out is he reminds me so much of Brandon Williams. His teammate. Brandon Williams, uh what? Round three, pick ninety four. Justin Matabuki, round three, pick 71. Not just that. It's like they're, hold on, is they the same height? No, they're not the same height, close to the same pounds. But, dang, make me feel old when I seen that, that the age. But, Justin Matabuki, Brandon Williams, six feet, I believe. Justin Matabuki, 6'3". Three inches taller. But he's special. And they continually say Calais Campbell, Derek Wood, Brandon Wood. They are praising this dude. Calais Campbell doesn't have long. Derek Wolf doesn't have long. He probably can give us about two, three more years. Dude is going to be special, though. Derek Wolf, Kadez Campbell, Brandon Williams, they're all giving him praise. You can see his flashes last year. He was a little banged up last year. But stats, what's that? 11 solo tackles, one sack. That's really not bad. Banged up, banged up, but missed a few games. But he's a sponge, man. That's what they keep saying about this dude. He wants to learn. And you learning from three, three great, great players. Derek Wolf, y'all remember what he did in that regular season game. We didn't throughout the whole season, but that regular season game against the Titans, he held it down. All the way to pretty much overtime, and he just ran out of gas. And I'm like, dude, I know he was upset with himself, but do you did that? You did that. Like, <laughs> then you come back, kind of give us like a little hometown discount. He did that. You know what I'm saying? That's, all, that's really all I can say. Like, he did that. But man, he he did his thing. Then he Justin Matabuki's learning from him. That's like check out the check mark. Then you learn from Calais Campbell. And you know Calais Campbell did his thing last year too. But matter of fact, hold on, let me let me look at put uh Calais Campbell's stats. Can I find him real quick? There he is. Oh, he did. Eight, look, 18 solo tackles. Four sacks. He did his thing. And he's 34 years old. Man. Man, they say monsters. Man. It's crazy. I'm just looking at his stats. That's... And you're and Justin Matabuki is learning from them, you know what I'm saying? Oh man. Ooh, this boy can be a beast. 
put all of that information, Brandon Williams, put all that information together, he has something real special. Got him in the third round, just like Brandon. A lot of people didn't know about Brandon Williams when he came out. And he learned, and I didn't even say Romero McPhee either. Learning from him. You know what I'm saying? Brandon Williams learned from the, the number 92. Self. Nada. That's how you really need your Nada. Nada was, huh? Nada was, oh, I got no. Ravens, not nah, not that Detroit, not nah, I, I don't know what that that was. He still did his thing a little bit, but wasn't like with the Ravens. But you know what I'm saying. So you, and it seemed like to me that's Eric DeCosta's plan. And you know what? I'm just not thinking about that. That could be his plan. He's like, he getting these rookies and they always got somebody good to learn from. It's not no just okay player either. It's great players. Matabuki, he had that ultimate hookup. And I believe he knows it too. That's why he's being that sponge. He get them stacks up and it's, it's hard being a defensive tackle if you ain't Aaron Donald. But did being a defensive tackle Getting them sex. Cause usually that you know that's the pass for the outside linebacker. They be taking all the glory. But man. Or the defensive ends. Cause them defensive tackles, they sometimes they just be going going against two people. But He's, he, I give him a year or two, and everything is going to start gelling. Yeah, a year or two. I think everything is going to start gelling with him. Justin Matabuki going to be beasting. Cause he, like I said, he already did good last year. This year, more, more soaking it in. It ain't no telling. They could have been bonded like the DBs. You know what I'm saying? They could have been on Cancun or uh, over uh, some Zoom calls or whatever, talking to each other, learning, getting more into that playbook. And that's one thing two people don't think about as well. More learning more of the playbook where we can open it up more. We can start seeing some more exotic things. You know, them, them playbooks be huge. But that's, I just can't wait. And it, I ain't, ooh. He's so young, too. Well, 20, it ain't 23, 24, 23. And you learning from these three great guys, 23 years old. Brandon Williams, Derek Wolf, Kles Campbell. My one slouch. That's a steal. That's a steal. And they all give him praise too. All of them give just a matter of you praise. It'll be a special year. Special year. Y'all tell me what y'all think. This is. We almost there, y'all. We almost there.